Okay, I think this is about where I left off last time. Um, I've been digging around under my house here. This is uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, version 0 0.3.0. .0. The second update got yesterday that where they fixed a lot of the icon problems and things look like they're supposed to now. But I thought I'd give a little update here while I'm digging around. I'm not actually going to dig. I'm going to go down here, just kind of walk around while I talk. Anyway, uh, it was suggested to me by a commenter on the for on my the comments in my last video that perhaps I should do a let's play of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Well, <clears throat> that's a pretty good idea if I could get video, good quality video. Uh, onto my computer from my tablet. However, I have to root this thing to get good video, uh, native video. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set up <clears throat> an Android 4.0, I think was it 4.03, I believe is the latest update I have. Uh, I'm going to try and set up a virtual machine in the Android SDK and see if I can't record that way on my laptop to make things a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, they, that, that sounds like a, a fun thing to do. I'm going to try to do it, but there's no guarantees, obviously, because this is, <laughs> I'm not exactly the greatest thing. Uh, let's see, how do I put this? Messing with the SDK is something I've never done before. So we'll, we'll just try and see what happens. I'll go out here and walk around, and hopefully this video will turn out okay. Um, let me get a sword here. I heard some zombies out here still hanging around earlier. Yeah, this cow is still hanging around down here. I don't think she's ever going to get out. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of dry. But I thought I'd take a walk around the world and at least let you see what I've got here. This is a pretty good world. Uh, uh, still no caves yet. I mean, it's not. Re it doesn't really feel like Minecraft if you don't have underground caves. And this is about as close as you can get right here. This overhanging mountain. It's a nice, cool little place. Might be able to build something there, but eh, I want caves. Uh, I've got some iron. You could probably see right there. It's right there. Uh, <laughs> I've got iron ore blocks can't do anything with them. They're still not usable, really, except as a building material. Uh, I think coal right now is the only ore you can get that's actually usable for something. You can make torches out of it. So, things are coming along, though. We've got to remember we're in alpha, so it's not really... It's playable, but it's not what you think of when you think of Minecraft other than visually, of course, and there's some clay. I'm not going to bother trying to get the clay because you cannot collect it. If you break the clay, you get nothing. See? Nothing. So I'm going to leave that there and walk around. It, the terrain generator reminds me a lot of early Minecraft for the PC. Uh, I got to remember, uh, you probably don't know, but I started playing Minecraft right before the Halloween update 2010. And uh, look, it's the edge of the world. Oh, a chicken. Uh, no point killing those either. You, you get nothing from them. None of the animals give you anything. Mobs. Uh, the only monster we have so far is a zombie. He's really slow and takes two hits from a stone sword to kill. So there's no real danger hanging around out here at night unless you get mobbed by a bunch of them, then that's a problem. Uh, oh, there's a pig over there. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to do the uh, Let's Play if I can get set up in a virtual machine on the Android SDK. We'll see what, what happens with that. If not, these are going to have to wait until I can find a way to actually do screencasts from my tablet. So, anyway, that's just a little update. I uh, should be doing another regular Minecraft video this weekend. 
on the uh, Serenity server where I play, and uh, go check that out. It's uh, server.serenitymc.net, and uh, I will put a link in the description down there. But, yep, that's pretty much it. There's, oh, ow, ah, health regenerates, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, hey, is that snow up there? I didn't even notice. Let's go see. That's my house right over there. Let's go up the side of the mountain here. See, I don't, I don't remember seeing snow in here before. Maybe I did. Oh, come on. I don't, I don't have the freedom here to. There we go. That is snow. What do you know? A little patch of snow. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Uh, most of the rest of this out this way. This is all water. I mean, there's like. I'm right on the edge of what looks like an ocean biome. There's a little bit of dirt and sand sticking out of the water around here, out that way, but the edge of the world is literally just like right over there, not far away. There's some ice over there, but no land. So you've pretty much seen all the land there is in this that I have in this map. And it tends to work out that way a lot of times. You get a lot of water, and uh, sometimes you get a lot of land. But... Uh, i tell you what, I'm going to go switch over to another world that I had here where I've been building a village just to see what you can do because it was made a couple of revisions ago and did I pass my house? Really? I did. It's over here. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get back inside here and I'm going to back out of this map and load another map that would be world three here it's creative because I just that's the way I started it all right let's uh, go into this world ah, and I'm inside my ship I haven't been in this world in a while uh, all this I've never built a, a boat before see so fly around here and I'll show it to you there's my boat made of planks and wood and that sort of thing I'll give you a sort of a walkthrough of my world here, though. Excuse me, I had to check my camera. And uh, at, once again, most of that out there is water and frozen water at that. Uh, but you come off the ship there, you walk up the beach, take the gravel path, and here's our, here are some uh, merchant stalls I built uh, for when the ship is in. And... Uh, Follow the path that that goes pretty much nowhere over there yet. Uh, I have nothing built there, and uh, walk into the village. Try and move my hands out of the way. I have some houses here. Um, they're all blank on the inside. There's really nothing inside them. But I tried to make them look kind of individual yet with the same theme. And uh, flowers there and some. I used the ladders here to look like shutters and they all have a little porch and hedges in the front I wish we had water here so that I could actually have water in my well and over here where when they eventually in implement farming this will become a wheat farm or some some such and let's see over here I have my chapel and open the door go inside just a bunch of pews here if you walk by them you can say pew 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 anyway <laughs> yeah I know it's lame I'm lame as far as those stupid jokes go but uh, there's more uh, there's no day or night when you're in creative world uh, creative mode so I don't have to worry about it getting dark and there's another house over here. This one's slightly different in that it has a backyard fenced in. Um, a very tiny little backyard. And, uh, yeah. So, I go out this way. I'm just going to leave these doors open. I don't care. There's no mobs or anything. Not even friendly mobs in this world. Uh, let's open the gate. Go inside the playground. You've got a uh, jungle gym there. Uh, monkey bars. Uh, sand pit. Kid, little kids love sand pits. 
And this lame looking thing over here was supposed to be one of those little rides you sit on that has the springs on the bottom, but that didn't work out so well. Anyway, close that, <clears throat> walk around this way. And this is kind of morbid, but if you think about it in, in a weird sort of way, it's appropriate. Uh, I have over here a uh, theater. This is the, by far the biggest building in the village, and it does look kind of lame, but that's okay. This is a cemetery, obviously, with the iron block headstones and gravel marking the graves, flowers. Let's go inside the theater here and take a look. Uh, there we go. I'm turning here. Let me let me check my camera again. Uh, there we go. I think that'll do. Right, we'll go inside the here with the half slab floors and. There's glass here with the only way to light anything is to use a torch. So I had to dig a hole there, put a torch in it, put glass on top, put a half slab on top, and then put the seats up here. So they're kind of floating off the floor, but oh well. And let's move towards the stage. There's an orchestra pit here. And a stage. You can see I've got big, wide open stage with uh, red wool of course curtains the stage is pretty well lit and the roof up there is not so much it's pretty dark up there so that's my uh theater and i'm this was built like i said a couple of versions ago so it's it that some of the things the building materials we have now we didn't have then uh let me fly up here and show you just how large this thing is to be built on a touch screen it's really something um, yeah it's, it's fairly big uh, all of this land all this flat land here as you can see I'm right on the edge of the world but from that that hill over there around to the snow line around here and to the edge of the, the world there's places where I had to build that up six layers to get it flat and I'm planning on building more stuff out here. I just don't know what yet. And let's see, I can go this way, back over the hill to the village. I have a little more room <clears throat> to build in the village. Excuse me. Not sure what was there. Maybe I just dug that up. Uh, this has got a. This is a pretty nice world here too. It doesn't have any sort of overhangs or pseudo caves or whatever you want to call it. But uh, the worlds in, the, in Minecraft Pocket Edition are pretty small, obviously, because of the resource limitations of a tablet or a smartphone. And, uh, oh, this is an interesting feature here, I thought. You see, you see this sort of thing a lot. But it's kind of like yin-yang there with the, the sand and the water there. I thought that was interesting. Uh, just an interesting formation. And uh, yep, this is it. This is my world. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna fly around the edge here so you can see it. That's the uh, the uh, edge there. I've got all of the graphic settings on that that you can set. I, I mean, I've got the farthest render distance. Oh, excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. We had a little interruption there. I'm at work and I uh, had somebody stopping by to drop off some paperwork. Anyway, right where we left off here, <laughs> I was saying I've got this on the, the farthest render distance and uh, the fancy graphics where you can see through the leaves of the trees. Um, it runs just fine on this uh, Asus tablet. I don't have any problems. And uh, we're about to end up back over here. See, the, there's my village over there and the road going to the edge of the world. We have just circumnavigated the entire world here in just a few minutes. But, yep, there's my village, and I'll go land over here on the ship and end this thing because uh, it's getting kind of long for a, a phone cam video, <laughs> you know. So, let's go down to the level of the ship here. Go down the, the beach instead of flying. Let's do it properly. Go around. See, I have ladders over here. If I can get up there, just open the gate. 
and up the ladder and onto the ship. Close the gate. Yep, here we go. I'm at the end of my video. I'm, I'm done here. But I thought I'd just give you a quick little update. And like I said, I am going to try to do uh, Let's Plays in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Which it'll probably involve multiple worlds because they're so small and there are no caves yet. So, keep an eye out. Uh, I will get some new videos up as soon as I can. I'm, uh, I don't get a lot of time to record just whenever I'm alone at the house so the kids aren't making a lot of noise or here at work when I don't have much to do. Uh, oh, I know. Let's go up here and end the video since I'm talking and running on and blabbering at the mouth. We'll go up in the crow's nest up here above the sail. There we go. And there we are. So that, that's the end of my video. Everybody have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Bye.